what's up guys it's your boy toss kids here and today we're playing car extra racing online in today's car extra racing online video i'll be showing you guys how to hold clean lines and what i mean by clean lines is like holding wide lines you know keeping your rear tires on the edge of the track um i'll be showing you guys how to basically stay on the edge of the track while you're drifting because a lot of people always ask me like how do you you know control your car so well <clears throat> so well and keep it on the edge of the track and a lot of that comes down to throttle control but um basically what i'm going to be doing at first is i'm going to show you guys a clip of bad lines and tell you guys why the lines are bad and why you don't want to run lines like that and then i'll be showing you guys a clip of good lines and talking about why you should run lines like that and why they are good while these clips are playing i will be talking over the videos and explaining everything so um once that's over I'll actually go into a lobby and I'll show you guys live in action how to put these into practice so that you can become better at holding lines. So make sure you guys subscribe, turn on post notifications, drop a like and comment below for more banger content. So as you guys can see in this first clip, if you pay attention, where you aim your car at the corner will determine what direction your car or what trajectory your car takes around the corner so if you're aiming toward the inside of the corners then do not be surprised if you hit a lot of rails and end up going off the track a lot because when you aim toward the inside of the corners it shoots you toward the outside of the corner and if you're carrying all that speed and momentum and velocity with you it'll take the car with it and pull you straight off the track right here as you can see the person starts going off the track and they just give it more throttle that's not what you want to do as soon as you go off the track you want to let off the gas see is going off the track not letting off the gas at all aiming toward the inside of corners not good this is not what you want to do here this is a very bad situation that we have on our hands not getting any angle for those transitions there these look like more of like racing lines so yeah i would consider these like racing lines almost you do not want to be aiming toward the inside it's just not going to be good for you. It's not going to be good for the people around you, especially if you're playing online. Uh, with that being said, let's get to the good clip. All right, so now on to the good clip. So in this clip, um, you can see that if you aim your car wide, it will allow you to change the trajectory and give you a better chance at actually making it around that corner because these cars you know they drift and when you're going sideways your car is going at, depending on what angle you're holding around that corner and what gear you're in will determine you know where your car will go after you enter that corner so you always want to enter the corner wide so your car can have more than enough room to keep moving forward and stay sideways but when you aim toward the inside of the corners your car has nowhere to go it can't get wide you have to like make a bunch of adjustments or try to slow down so another thing is if you can pay attention here every time that the rear tires start to go off you let off the throttle a little bit and then reapply so every time you feel like you're going off the track you just want to for a second let off the gas so that your tires can grip up and then reapply like you see here he's letting off here and there he's not giving it too much gas he's making sure that he stays on the track and does not allow himself to slide off even right here you can see he's letting off one tire but at the same time he's not ever giving it too much gas and in fact rarely is there a time where you even want to full throttle it so with that being said, um, I hope I covered like, you know, enough over these next two clips. But now I'm going to be going into the game and showing you guys live in action um, how to apply these to your gameplay. So let's get it, man. So 
so basically what I'm trying to explain is that depending on how much thrall you're giving it around the corners and you know uh, where you aim around corners will determine you know how wide you get how inside you get on the corner so just keep those things in mind so like for example if you're coming close to a, like if you're coming close to like slipping off the track or if you're coming close to hitting a rail like let's say I'm coming close to hitting this rail right here all you have to do is let off like watch when I let off the gas what happens my car pulls inside or let's say you feel like you're going around you know like this thing too wide what happens when I let off the gas the car pulls inside so the same thing will apply while you're on the track so like for example while I'm on the track here I'm going off I let off the gas my car pulls in and then I reapply the throttle what you don't want to do though is when you feel like your car is going to go off the track start giving it more gas that's the mistake that I see a lot of people do is as soon as their car starts to go off the track will give it more gas and that's not something you want to do because you're in panic mode instead of panicking like that what you don't want to do is you do not want to panic when your car starts to go off the track like this all you want to do is let off gradually and then just literally reapply but you never want to give it more throttle if you give it more throttle your car's just going to go farther into the dirt or wider off the track whatever the case may be and that's not what you want so when you're going around the corner it'll happen really fast but just notice when you let off every time you let off temporarily for like a short second you'll see your car start to pull in sometimes you might have to let off more uh, depending on what corner you're on so that's how you stay on the track so if you want to stay on the track like I said if you're about to go off just let off a little bit and wait for your car to pull in and then reapply your throttle and when your car is going off there's no need to press the brake or e-brake all you need to do is let off the gas and the same thing goes for when you're transitioning into corners because some people you know they, they transition too quick in the corners now let me hit this corner and show you guys a good transition and a bad transition so that's a bad transition right there so and what's bad about that transition is that I just tried to fly around the corner and didn't even, you know, didn't even think about the fact that it's a small corner. Maybe I should slow down. I just flew through there thinking, oh, I got this. My car is going to make it. But what you want to do is like basically drifting. You're just guiding the vessel like you're just there to guide the car. The car is doing the work for you. You're just there to guide it and let it do its thing. So when you go around this corner, or when you transition I mean what you want to do when you're going up to a transition is you want to pace yourself you want to let off the gas and then reapply and that's for every corner you let off reapply turn in let off reapply turn in let off reapply turn in let off reapply and that'll make sure that you never end up doing something like this okay if you want to keep your transition stable that's what you need to do every corner you come into you want to let off and then reapply because if I would have kept pressing the gas right there guess where I would have been in the dirt or my back bumper would have been in one of them rocks okay now another thing that I want to go over is the fact that some people are taking corners in too low of a gear and I'll show you what that looks like. So if you're taking corners in too low of a gear, like I said, your car will be aiming toward the inside of every corner. And if you're leading a tandem line or train, that is no bueno, okay? Because if you're taking inside lines, I don't know if you guys saw my head of tandem like a pro video. But in that video, I explained that if you are holding, let's say you're holding 60 degrees of angle around a corner, your chaser's not going to be holding the same amount of angle because they have to aim more inside on the corner. So that inside space on the corners is going to be for your chaser. So you need to make sure you open up each corner and leave enough space for your chasers to be able to take that inside corner because 
If they take the inside corner on your inside corner, they're more than likely to end up in the dirt. For example, if I transition around this corner like this, right? If I transition around this corner like this, well, let's just say, hold on, wait, let me, let me, let me, let me choose a different corner, for example, hold on. Let me, let me choose a different corner so I can get a better example of this. Hold on one second. Okay, right here. If I transition around this corner like that, okay, or anywhere near this inside area, your chaser will be lined up about here. Like he's gonna be on the inside somewhere and he's gonna be basically in the dirt. Cause you go around like that, right? But the thing is, is you guys are probably thinking, wait, how would your chaser be in the dirt? Well, you gotta think about how far inside your chaser has to go just to keep up with you. I don't know if you guys have seen tandems before, but every time that you transition, your chaser has to transition on the inside of the line to keep up. If the chaser transitions on the outside of the line with you and tries to hold the same line as you to keep up, they will get left behind. If you don't believe me, try it out. Go in our lobby right now with a friend and tell the person that's chasing to try to hold the exact same angle as the lead while you're going around the track and let's see how far y'all get apart and then have the chaser transition toward the inside of each corner and tell me how close you guys stay together you guys will stay a lot closer if chasers are transitioning on the inside which is why i said you need to leave this space open for your chasers now with that being said <clears throat> uh that is probably gonna wrap up this video i cannot think of anything else to explain at the moment if i left anything out or if you guys think that i should make a part two let me know down below in the comment section other than that this has been your boy Ty Skids playing cards for first gun line, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.